So you've died 7,647 times to General Radon, and you've come to this video to get some help. Well, lucky for you, I've got you, buddy. I've got you. There's a few prerequisites you're going to need to do for this video, and the first thing is go to right here on the map, the Cathedral of the Dragon Communion. Now, once you get here, you're going to find an obelisk, a monument to the dragon gods. Just go towards it and interact with it, and you're going to find a Rotten Breath spell. Now, it requires 15 Faith and 12 Arcane, but don't worry, it's totally worth it to get these stats. You can reach Reset it later, of course. If you're running low on dragon souls, go to right here and kill the Lake Agil dragon, better known as Agil the dragon. <laughs> if you traveled out of the General Radon boss fight, go ahead and talk to this guy right here to start it again. Just say, I'm ready as ever, and you've unlocked your boss room. Make sure you have a talisman to cast the spell. Holy mother of God, don't die. Okay. <laughs> Make sure your beautiful self has a talisman to cast this spell and it's equipped in your hotbar. Now go through this waystone portal type deal and start the freaking boss fight. We're gonna clap some Radon cheeks, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as you spawn in, you're gonna directly run straight forward, no questions asked, and spawn these three NPCs. Stand behind this thing so the arrow doesn't hit you. And then you're gonna run to the right. You may have to dodge this if you're not quick enough. Just dodge it. It's okay. If you die, then respawn at the Shrine America. Come back in. Spawn this one NPC and stand behind here. And Radon should cast arrows up in the sky. At this point, summon your steed. Summon your steed and outrun and get these two NPCs up here. Okay, you should be able to outrun it if you summon your steed. Now we just have to wait for the NPCs to approach General Radon so he stops shooting arrows at you. If he has a blue arrow like this, purple arrow, make sure you dismount and dodge it or stand behind one of these weapons in the ground to block the, the arrow. So to reiterate, arrows in the sky, horse dodge. Purple arrows, dodge on foot. Dismount and dodge on foot. Once he's busy attacking the NPCs, after he finishes a combo, you're going to use your Rotten Breath spell. Absolutely dump your FP bar with both cast and it should be good. Now run the freak away. Listen, you do not have to dismount your horse to cast the spell. I found that out later. Now once General Radon is infected with Scarlet Rot, you're just going to chill out. You're just going to be cool. And if your summons start to die, then you can resummon them again. So these spectral flags in the sky under them, that's where their summoning signs will appear whenever your summons do die. So we're just going to wait out this first phase on General Don. You don't have to do anything right now. Just dodge his attacks. If he targets you, just run away. Whenever he reaches half health, he's going to shoot up like an edgelord into the sky. He thinks he's so cool and powerful. He, he is. He is. You are in grave danger right now. You're like, you are in the most danger you've ever been in. He's going to fall down from the earth right here. This attack will one-shot you. Be careful. Dodge it as fast as possible. Once he falls down, you're going to have to Scarlet Rot him again. And also, be very careful. He is... Super Saiyan at this point. He will destroy you. He will clap you and he will break you in half. So just summon your summons again and run up to him after he finishes his combo. More summons for the blood god. All right, clench your butt cheeks, my friends. Clench your butt cheeks and get in there. Scarlet Rot this man. Just do it. Just do it. Don't even think and then get the freak out of there. Don't dismount. Just channel the power of God and anime. You're good, bro. You're good. Run the freak away. Do not go near him. I will show you what happens if you go near him. This is if you get a little bit cocky. If you get a little bit cocky, get a little too close. Well, guess what? He's going to absolutely slice you in half. He's going to break you in half and he's going to die also. But guess what? The kill doesn't freaking count because you freaking died first. So what the heck? You got to do that whole fight again. Maybe if I go in there, he'll be dead. Maybe not. Oh, no. I mean, I got so... Oh, he's not dead. Dang it. Oh, I just lost all... If you get cocky, then proceed to do the fight five more times, dying on every single one of them and getting stupidly unlucky. My friends, go to bed. Just go to bed at this point. You'll fight him tomorrow. It's okay. After sleeping for 12 hours straight, wake up and kill him on your first try. Clap that man's cheeks. Subscribe.